It's not very often you see one of those on the ground. I do believe that's what you call a vulture. Not very often you see a vulture on the ground. Look at that. Must be something good to eat over there. I don't know why else he'd be on the ground. Unless he's injured. Hopefully he's not injured. He's not eating anything, so I don't know what he's doing. Uh, look at his left wing. He might have a problem with his wing. Ah, he's moving it pretty good. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. That's a weird sight to see one by himself just sitting on the ground. Maybe he's just saying hello to his, his fellow scrap vulture. <laughs> this is off my back deck on my apartment across the field. way over there way way over there <laughs> this is my dick it's having a hard time focus because of those branches the camera wants to focus on the branch there it is there he is I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of those things what they really look like it's hard to tell what they look like when they're way up there in the air you know you don't even realize they got a bald head. He seems to be looking over in this direction. Well, that answers that. It's not injured because there's more than one sitting over there. There's one right there. Uh, that stupid branch is in the way. <laughs> the camera picks out a twig and focuses. Oh, look at that. He's stretching his wings. Oh, man, that's awesome. Where'd he go? Where is it? Where is it? Look at that. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> He had his wings totally stretched out. Ah, oh, that stupid twig was in the way. It made my camera focus on something else. Ah, oh, see that leaf blowing around, that twig? Dang it. Oh, I wish I could have got that. There's one, there's the original one. Oh, there he is, look at that, look at that. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, I can't get a good focus. Ah, uh, what's he doing? Uh, stupid. Uh. <laughs> How frustrating is that? Scrap vulture. He's saying hello, look at that. Ah, <laughs> uh, if I could just get that to focus. Dang it. See that twig right there? The camera's focusing on that twig. It's just ruining the whole shot. That's a bunch of bunk.
See if I get a better look at this. Well, there it is right there. Oh, my dog. My dog's freaking out. She can't come with. Hopefully that barking doesn't scare it away. I can't believe it's not flying. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna be able to get a great shot of it. As long as I don't spook them. I've never been this close to a vulture before. Should be right around this corner. Oh, look at that, look at that right there. They're not injured. They must just be saying hi to the to the scrap vulture. Oh. Well, there goes one. Wish I wasn't zoomed in. I could have caught that on camera. That was pretty cool. They must just be. Uh, I don't know what they're doing down here on the ground. Could be uh, mating. Could be a little mating ritual going on here. What do you guys think? I wish I'd have caught that one taking off. That was cool. Well, I know one way to catch this one taking off. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, it went up in the tree. Oh, there's the second one. That was the third one. What is going on here? <laughs> I've certainly never been close to a vulture like that on the ground. I don't know what they're doing up there. Kind of strange. I've never seen them sitting in that tree before, I know that. <laughs> you guys doing? What are you doing with that tree up there? You saying hi to the scrap vulture? Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> you came to say hi to the vulture. Appreciate that. You're not scared of nothing? You're not gonna fly away? I'm down here yelling at you? You're just gonna, just gonna sit right there, huh? You just gotta sit right there and let me just walk up on you and yell and hoot and holler and stuff. There's one clear up in the sky flying. Huh. They're only about 30 feet up. You're not scared of the scrap vulture, huh? All right. I suppose there could be something dead around here. But even if there was something dead around here, they, they should still be scared of me. <laughs> That's kind of a small twig for a big bird. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> what are you doing? Check this out. Let's 
this lamp post. See, it's like the ones that are in this parking lot area. And they redid this place like, oh man, it's been maybe five years, four or five years, maybe longer. And this thing has been abandoned here for that long. It's been at least four or five years. <laughs> Looks like there's a nice ant colony going in there. But uh, that's super heavy. It's pure aluminum. And it, oh, that's so heavy. <laughs> it's, uh, there's no telling how heavy it really is. Oh, super heavy. Just pure cast aluminum in there. And I've wanted to bust this thing up so many times. Every time I come past it. <laughs> it was originally abandoned when aluminum was like 60 cents a pound where I live. And now it's like 30 cents. And uh, so <laughs> it was twice as valuable when it was first abandoned. But I know for a fact it's abandoned. And I'm not sure if it was a city deal or not. But see, it's all these posts in here. One, two, three. Oh, this whole parking lot, this whole perimeter is lined with those things. I don't know if it was a private deal or a city deal, but it's uh, her wig. But uh, yeah, every time I come past this, I just think about <laughs> bringing, a, bringing a heavy tool and just just because that, that if you hit that thing hard enough it'll shatter and I, I could carry every bit of that part if I break it up into a few pieces and that, that cast iron it, or cast iron that cast aluminum it, it will bust up so I could definitely take it but I just don't want to touch it because <laughs> it's just uh, I know for a fact it's abandoned but I just if it's a city deal I don't want to go because <laughs> it's still usable you know and I don't want to just go taking a city light post into the scrapyard, so. I'm not sure what the deal is. I think it's private, but either way, it's clearly abandoned, yet I still don't want to touch it because I don't want to find out the hard way. <laughs> but see, that's the thing about it. I, I know it's just been, just been forgotten about and nobody wants it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be sitting there that long. I'm kind of surprised no one in the pickup trucks just came and just taking it in one fell swoop. But, uh, anyway, that's that. Hey, I wonder if they're young. Hey, that could be, I didn't think about that. Uh, that could be a young one. It might be a baby, or not a baby, but like an adolescent or something. What do you think? I bet that's what the deal is, maybe. Springtime. I'm not sure. I don't know enough about that kind of stuff. Let's know if this is the right time of year for that or not. But... They're both back. Yeah, that might be what. That might be what's going on. What do you think, mom and dad? right there and then uh, junior over here just learning the ropes yeah he looks kind of smaller too ah but that's exactly what's going on that's a baby that's why they're not flying <laughs> yep springtime all right well i think i figured that out and see, they're out here on the city, city part of the property too, so I bet they are city deals. That probably explains why no one's touched it. I think that's the juvenile right there. They should be scared of me and they're, and they're not, they're not scared of me at all. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> That's why I didn't bring my dog because I was worried one of them might have been hurt 
and wasn't able to fly and that that'd be dog that'd be bad my dog's cute but when it comes to varmints and stuff like that she's i think she's got a little bit of that uh what are they called? jack russell terrier some kind of terrier in her so yeah i gotta watch out gotta watch her around that kind of stuff